because you don't have homework to. So we shall do something about it. Okay, so um, tomorrow I would like to uh, find out what decisions you are going to take. So today and tomorrow morning is for sitting around the table, the design team, and if you are lucky, maybe the client or a stakeholder or both, if you get a chance, why not? Um, so, um, the, the conceptual framework for task model 2 should be the same as task model 1. So this group that showed me the flow, the flow diagram, I would be glad to have a flow diagram for a solution and you could say, okay, look here, this is what's different. We, we omitted step, we avoided pitfalls and so on, right? So, so maybe use the same, and, and, and you could use Uter, but none of you have been doing so, but that, that's fine, I don't care, but, but use the same representation to show what's different, where you change. Uh, and, and indicate the major changes by formally making the decision. So maybe a QOC diagram, as I have been advocating for the last 15 minutes, to show you this is the question, this were the options we have seen, this were the criteria, and this is the decision taken by. Maybe by the client, maybe by, by one of you who decides I'm the expert on visual design, maybe by the team, but, but certainly not by everybody in the world, because if everybody agrees, I think it's not, couldn't be a very creative design and would have been designed long ago, right? So, yeah, this is what I would like you to do. Um, and, and, and you have to propose the design to the client and the client doesn't like formalisms, maybe. That's the other thing. So the client might like storyboards of a changed business process. If you change the business process, make it understandable and, and in a way acceptable to the client. So this is not a formalism, but it's still a representation that you need, right? Uh, and, and if there is something about roles and agents, maybe you should design or develop a new persona or a new role script, saying now we introduce a different role, and this is the type of agent that will take the role, and this is the script for the role. Right? So again, this is not formalism, but it helps understand um, what you try to do uh, by the client. And that's it.